what I am going to talk to you about today is a poem called If. Now this poem has been written by Rudyard Kipling and in this poem a father is trying to explain to his son what it means to be a man. Now when we talk of man, we are talking of man with the capital M. It includes being a man or a woman or whatever. In other words, what it means to be a human being and an actualized, achieving human being. Now Rudyard Kipling is the person if you remember who wrote, Oh, the East is the East, and the West is the West, and never the twain shall meet. Same. Incidentally, he was born in Mumbai. And he is the person who also, uh, if you remember that series which was created on TV, Mowgli and the Bandarlok, Jungle, jungle, pata chala hai, chaddi pen ke pool khila hai vagere. So that, that whole cartoon series, the, the person who created the character Mowgli, he was responsible for a number of other things. What is of interest for us is he wrote a poem called If, and a few paragraphs of that poem will be our focus of attention. This poem starts with the paragraph. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired of waiting or being or lying or being lied about don't give way to lying or being hated don't give way to hating and yet don't act too good not talk too wise this is the first paragraph if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you What does this mean? I'll take you back a little. You remember that cricketer called Wadekar and our present day cricketer Dhoni? Both of them very successful captains of the Indian team. And there was a phase in which they lost matches. And the fans were so angry, so angry, that they wanted to hit stones at their houses that gathered extremely successful people, but they had to face this. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs, all about you, all around you, people lost their heads. And blaming it on you, please remember, these fans did not think that they were at fault. They were blaming the two captains. How could you lead India to such a disaster, etc., etc. And yet, if you can keep your head at such a situation, and I'm happy to say that these two people did, although they had to be offered police protection, etc., etc., whatever it may be. But if you can keep your head, in other words, when everybody is against you and blaming you, they don't find fault with themselves, they blame you for whatever is happening. And yet you can remain calm and balanced and cool if you can keep your head. When all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, that sort of equanimity. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, everybody around feels you are 
good for nothing you can do nothing and yet you can trust yourself yes i can do it it's extremely important for a person who wants to achieve to face a number of barriers and for that the most important aspect is deep down within do you feel you trust yourself you can do it if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you and remember why do they doubt you if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too why are they doubting you they are doubting you not because they want to put you down you have not made your mark still so to make your mark the most important aspect is you have to have that deep belief within yourself you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting do not get upset or angry with people who do not still know what is your caliber if you can wait and not be tired of waiting for all the best things of life friends you have to wait if you can wait and not be tired of waiting it's not that people don't start with that patience they get tired when things don't happen the way they want they get tired but if you can wait and not be tired of waiting or being hated don't give way to hating since you are on a path where you want to do things there are people who you are going to meet who may appreciate you but most of the times they will criticize you and many times people will hate you why do they hate you it's not because you are doing something wrong deep within they would have wanted to do things like this but they couldn't and therefore in hating you actually they are hating that insecurity or that inability that they have in their own selves or being lied about don't deal in lies and you will see that whenever you are trying to do something that is significant or something that is important a number of lies a number of rumors a number of gossips cannot will be spread around about you but you don't deal in lies you don't have to counter this you don't have to counter those lies you don't deal in lies the important thing is if somebody is speaking lies about you you don't speak lies about that person the ability not to stoop to a level which your opponents want you to stoop to that is an extraordinary ability to have but it's necessary if you want to really make something out of your life and in spite of all this in spite of all this don't act too good nor talk too wise see what happens is that most of the times you want to if somebody is really good it's fine but if he is too good if the situation is too good to be true you have a doubt if somebody talks too wise you feel what is the motive what is the intention is there some hidden motive behind why he is talking what he is what is he trying to do that feeling can come even to you when you are listening to me talking why is he talking so good what is his motive what is he trying to achieve is there a hidden agenda behind what he is trying to do so if you can and act and yet don't act too good nor talk too wise so the tendency human tendency is to want to pull a person down a peg or two don't don't think that you are you are you are, you are so good that you know you are you are, you are the best or you you think too much of yourself nobody likes pomposity nobody nobody likes a big huge grand stand unless and until you have really proven yourself so if you look at it the first paragraph itself describes the personality attributes of a person who really wants to call himself man with the capital m 
that means that ability to withstand adversity when everybody is against you that ability to trust your own self because you have not still proven yourself the ability to have patience to persevere on a path to not give way to hating never utter words which are going to hurt others don't deal in lies don't utter lies about others because that is a common way in which people try to counter somebody and in spite of everything don't be too good don't talk too wise so these are the personality attributes that one will have to inculcate and personality attributes can be inculcated is nothing that has to be got right genetically genetically you just have a template the attributes are developed over a period of time as you contemplate and as you persevere over it so this is the first part let's take the second part and the second part deals with if you have this type of develop this type of personality attributes what is the nature of your activity so therefore the second paragraph starts like this if you can dream and not make dreams your master if you can think and not make thoughts your aim if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat both those imposters just the same if you can dream and not make dreams your master to achieve anything in life you must have a dream and you must then pursue that dream dreams by themselves are not enough if you can dream and not make dreams your master dreams are not your master dreams are the starting point of becoming a master a number of times it happens you'll see with people that they have huge big dreams and those dreams themselves capture the person so much that the dreams become their master they do nothing beyond it so if you can dream and not make dreams your master dreams give you then the template to do that which you can do and therefore become a master of if you can dream and not make dreams your master if you can think and not make thoughts your aim see once we dream of something to be done significant insignificant big small whatever then there is a thought process which is set into action so even with this thought process if you can think and not make thoughts your aim thoughts are not your aim thoughts after your dream you convert that into a thought and that on that thought basis you are able to create some sort of a template which will lead you forward to action neither dream nor thought the action does not end there the action in fact starts there so if you can dream and not make dreams your master if you can think and not make thoughts your aim and then after you have started with your action if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat both those imposters just the same so when you are going to start with that action you will meet with only two things one is either you will triumph or you it will be a disaster but please remember whether it is triumph or whether it is disaster both these are imposters both these are thieves why are they thieves because when you win even then you lose your sleep you lose your equanimity when you lose even then you lose your equanimity so both are imposters they take away your peace of mind so if you can develop that ability to treat both these just the same just the same you remain at a state of equilibrium equanimity whether you triumph or whether you lose you can take both in your stride so just now remember if if you are looking at this this is also if you can think about it just the essence of what the bhagavad gita is trying to say isn't it the concept of sthita pratnya jiski pratnya sthita hai whose intellect is absolutely unwavering it is solid like a rock that concept of sita pratnya or karma neva adhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phalahe turbhur mate sangostu akarmani your right your adhikar is over your action not over its fruits 
and if you are obsessed all the time with fruits you will not do action so therefore what we are talking of action means the type of action that that leads to a higher level of consciousness neither should you be obsessed with the fruits of action and if you are not obsessed if you say but i am not going to do any action that is also not allowed you cannot sit and do inaction akarmani cannot be done rudyard kipling somewhere in advising about the role of dream and the role of thought and afterwards action and the most important thing is treating the fruits of action with equanimity is trying to tell you about this state of chitta pratna and the non obsession with the fruits fruits are bound to come but you don't get obsessed with it so much that either you indulge in action or you are all the time only guided by the craving for fruits so while the first paragraph talks of the personality attributes the second paragraph talks of how should you be doing your actions now let's come to the third paragraph and here now he is dealing with while you are doing your actions while you can win and then you can even lose how do you treat that that situation of loss and how do you tackle risk taking the taking of risk because it is essential at times to take a huge a big risk in life it's only then that things really matter and happen so he says if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose start at the beginning never breathe a word of your loss so everything that you have won make one heap of it keep it at one place and wager it come on risk it won one turn of pitch and toss just toss a coin and be ready to lose everything and lose and when you lose what do you do start at the beginning once again start that activity that you want to do never breathe the word of your loss there is so much that we gather in life there is so much that keeps us attached but a certain time comes when we have to wager it we have to take a gamble we have to risk losing all that for something which beckons us which our conscience is telling us to do at that time please take that gamble take that risk and while you take that risk it is quite possible that you may succeed and, and a lot of wonderful things may happen in life but it is equally possible you may lose and when you lose the common tendency is to just give up this is not for me it's not in my destiny probably i was never meant for this i tried but i could not succeed what he says is start at the beginning after you have lost everything either restart or start a new path because that is what is beckoning you or restart whatever you have lost and the important thing is never breathe a word of your loss this whining attitude crying over things repenting for things crying over people's shoulders oh why should this have happened to me etc get rid of this attitude as soon as possible in fact never breathe a word of your loss don't even talk to a single person about what loss you have suffered because the moment you start talking and the moment you start expecting people may do for you or they may not do but a lot of your energy is lost in seeking that help from people conserve that energy and start once again the attitude of crying over things the attitude of expecting sympathy from people that attitude is not going to help you to go ahead in life in fact the only thing that's going to help you in life is your own effort and your dedicated absolutely concentrated action in a certain 
manner. So you make one heap that risk taking is important. Be ready to lose. And in spite of all that, do not cry over things. That makes you a man with a capital M. So while the first paragraph talked of the personality attributes, and the second paragraph talked about how should one's attitude be towards action, the third paragraph talks about the ability to take risks in life and go beyond what you have already done. Now let's come to the fourth paragraph. In the fourth paragraph, he discusses one's attitude towards others. And here he talks of the common people as well as the aristocrats. How should one's attitude be towards both of them? If you can talk with crowds and not lose your virtue, or walk with, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch, if neither loving friends nor foes can hurt you, if all men matter with you but none too much. See there is a tendency that if you are dealing with the common folk, you tend to gravitate and come to their level. And then if they are you know, indulging in all sorts of activities which are not really of any level or noble, you tend to indulge in them as well. So he says, if you can talk with crowds and not lose your virtue, it's very important still to keep that virtuous state. Even if you are dealing with the commonest of people, that then, in fact, not only you remain at, at, at a level where you should not be lowering your nobility, you give a chance to the common man also to rise to that level. nor walk with kings, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. So, on the one hand, when you are dealing with the common man, you don't lose your virtue, but when you are walking with kings, yet you should never lose the common touch. The common touch is touch with the common man. There are a number of people who isolate themselves with the woes and the cares and the concerns of the common man and they live in a castle or an ivory tower. That's not what makes you a man. So when you are dealing with the common man, you keep your virtue. When you are dealing with the aristocrats or the high and mighty, you don't lose the common touch. That is the level of your ability and that's the level of communication that you've got to reach. If neither loving friends nor foes can hurt you, so while you are achieving this level, please remember, you will be hurt. You will be disappointed. You will lose a number of so-called friends of yours. You will be criticized. People will try to pull you down. And at such times, it is not your enemies. Your enemies, of course, you know. But it is your loving friends who will hurt you the most. You remember the incident of Caesar? Caesar did not fall when the rest of them knifed him. He fell when Brutus knifed him. He says, et to Brute, then fall Caesar. It is your loving friends. For Caesar, Brutus was a friend and Brutus stabbed him. When he did, he fell. But here the poet says, if neither loving friends nor foes can hurt you, and that can happen only if, if all men matter with you but none too much. This I think is a very significant line in this poem. Everyone matters in, in your life. Please do not fail only those who are the greats, they matter. The smallest of persons also matters in your life. The smallest of things also matters in your life. Everything matters. But none too much. But you don't give that control to anybody that without that person or without that person's mercy, you cannot live your life. 
if all men matter with you everybody is important but nobody is so important that without that person your life is absolutely finished or shattered we see that happening in so many people they get so attached spouses getting attached to each other uh, parents getting attached to their children they are not able to leave them and when it is necessary that they themselves for their own progress for the progress of their children that they should be allowed to go ahead they cannot leave them it also happens in the case of spouses they are so attached that for the sake of the development of of the spouse he or she has to proceed ahead he has to go abroad so he has to go to some other place but they do not leave because the person matters so much a, a, a person who is near and dear to you expires and you just are shattered so much that you cannot start living once again the period of grief is different but there are a number of people who never start once again in fact we have we know a number of people who just die they lose the desire to live so if all men matter with you but none too much it is necessary to pick up the threads from wherever you have lost a near and dear one in whatever way and proceed ahead that can happen only if if all men matter with you but none too much so while the first paragraph talked of the personality attributes the second paragraph talked of the action plan and how should we carry out doing one section the third talks of risk taking the fourth talks of relationships how should relationship be how do we deal with the common man how do we deal with aristocrats how do we deal with people who are our friends who go against us how do we deal with our enemies and how do we in general we deal with all the people who come in contact with us and now the final paragraph which i am going to be talking about is how to deal with time and this paragraph i find extremely extremely delightful he says if you can fill the unforgiving minute if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run yours is the world and everything that's in it and which is more you will be a man my son if you can fill the unforgiving minute remember friends a minute that is lost will not forgive you it's gone it can never come back if you can fill the unforgiving minute that minute it will not forgive because that minute consists of 60 seconds if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds of distance run a minute is not just a minute it is 60 seconds and 60 seconds what is the olympic record of 100 meter dash it is less than 10 seconds in other words in one minute it is possible to win six olympic gold medals in the 100 meter dash that, that is the importance of a minute if you can fill the unforgiving minute do not procrastinate do not just say ha ah, it's just a minute lost what is it no it cannot be lost if you can fill that is the amount of action that you need to do and that will come only if you realize how important is every minute in your life if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run yours is the world you will win everything that you need in this world this whole world can be won and everything that's in it if you can just concentrate on the value of time such a wonderful entity and the value of time can be realized only if you your shoulder to the wheel and act and do the things that you need to do with your life yours is the world then you can win the whole world and everything that's in it and which is more and that is at old english and which is more it is then that you will be a man my son so the father now says if you can do this then and only then 
you are worthy of being called a man with the capital M. So if you look at this poem, it is putting forward a clear blueprint of what you need to do with your life. Absolutely clear blueprint. The ability to remain tranquil when everybody is blaming you for things. The ability to trust yourself when there are a lot of doubting that is taking place about you. The ability to wait for all the best things to happen. Not to indulge in hate even if others hate you. Not to indulge in lies about others even if others are indulging in lies about you. And yet don't act too good. Not to allow dreams to become your master. Not to allow, allow thoughts to become your aim. And even while you have achieved, not by doing all this, you will, you will get certain fruits. But both those fruits, whether it is triumph or disaster, to treat them just the same because they are imposters. They will not allow you peace of mind. To, be, to have the ability to take risks. Put everything that you have won on one heap and lose it. And even if you have lost it, don't utter a word about it. Just start once again. When you deal with crowds, not to lose your virtue. When you are with the, the mighty and the high and mighty, you do not lose the touch with the common man. While you are doing all your actions, you will find that a number of enemies, of course, will be against you, but your friends will turn against you. Uh, but you will have to handle yourself at such a time by remembering that you need to have everybody in your life but you don't, to, don't need to have anybody who occupies such a great space in your life that you cannot live without that person if all men matter with you but none too much and finally while you are doing all this you should be so goal oriented and so action oriented that you don't forget that every minute lost will never never forgive you so therefore achieve Every minute has 60 seconds and 60 seconds in, you can win so much in that time. And if you do this, if you can have that mental attitude, if you can have this action orientation, if you can have this ability to take risks, if you can deal with people in this way, and if you can deal with time, that precious, precious entity called time, which is what will help you to achieve everything that you want, the whole world can be won. And if you win that whole world, then and then alone you have the qualification to be called a man with a capital M. And as I said in the beginning, when you're talking of man with a capital M, it is not man. It is man, woman, the whole of humankind. This is a direct message of not just a father to a son, but of an evolved individual to the other evolved individual or rather of an evolved thinking a person who has thought over things to a person who has the ability to evolve and it is necessary in life to pass on the baton isn't it if I have something uh, with me and the father has he should pass it on to his son and the greatest thing that he can pass on is not his wealth, it is not his inheritance, but that treasure of knowledge which has become wisdom. Knowledge becomes wisdom after experience is added to it. That wisdom, if he passes on to his son, and if one generation passes on to the second generation, that is the only way in which we have developed that ability to actualize not just progress, but actualize, develop, evolve. And such personality attributes, such abilities of relationships, such respect for time, such respect for taking risks, if that is what is developed, if, then the sky is the limit and the whole world can be one. I pray and I wish and I hope that this 
guides you to purposeful action and makes you into an evolved human being. If you do this, the rest will automatically follow. Thank you, my friends.